Hello guys, hope you're well, welcome back. We're going to be uh, having a look at another Age of Empires for build order. This one's going to be for the Mongols and it's the Mangadai Rush. So this is quite a strong build order. We aim to get to the Fruit Age within five minutes and then we're just going to have an archery range where we can double produce Mangadai at the Ovu. So we'll uh, have a little look at this one. It's quite an interesting one. So let's dive in and have a look. So to start off this build order, what you have to do with the Mongols is make your town centre by a wood line. Uh, you'll send all of your villages over to sheep apart from one because one of them is going to go and make an ovu at the stone. Uh, but once they've made that ovu they're going to go back to sheep. So your first new villager that comes out is going to go to sheep as well. So eventually we'll have seven on sheep in total. And then after that we're going to send two to wood. Just keep going around with your uh, Khan or your scouting as it is if you uh, were to compare it to other units in the game and yeah, just go around collecting sheep as much uh, as much as you can do use your maneuver arrow so this will increase the movement speed so hopefully you can find those sheep a little bit quicker now we've got the seven on sheep we're going to send two over to wood and then we're going to send five to gold which may sound a little bit excessive but uh, it's going to give us a really good opportunity to uh, get the economy of grades later on as well as produce the army that we need to produce so let's speed it up a little bit more so we've got two on wood i'm going to go five to gold now the final villager that's going to come out uh, for the gold is actually going to make an outpost and then uh, go to gold because we're having to move the town center around a bit um, it does mean that some of these other resources were going to be uh, quite vulnerable uh, to attack um, but we do have a nice secure wood line which is good um, so it's important that we do get the outpost now they cost 75 wood and that's it so uh, quite manageable and then once this one comes out we should be almost there uh, to be able to uh, advance to the feudal age uh, with the Deerstones landmark so as you can see that's coming down now uh, next villagers come out going to go to wood we're going to send three new ones to wood so they're just going over here and uh, pretty much there we just need a little bit more food there we go those four villagers from gold are going to drop off the what they've got and then make deer stones that villager you can either send it to gold or send it over to help out with deer stones uh, it's entirely up to you it doesn't really matter too much i don't think i send it to gold in this I don't think it really matters. So yeah, we're going to add another uh, three onto wood. So I think we should have a total of five. So we've just got one more to come out to wood. And then essentially after that, it's just a case of adding five new villages to sheep. And giving us a total of 12 on the sheep. And that should be enough to help us just maintain or keep maintaining villager production, keep maintaining Mangalai production and get some economy upgrades as well. So um, yeah, we're sort of um, really setting up the economy early so that we can start getting those economy upgrades uh, later on and uh, get a really, really good economy going. So I'll just fast forward. Let's uh, whack that on eight times speed just to get it to where we need to be. Okay, so as you can see, I've just taken a villager off of uh, wood, sent that forward. It's going to make an archery range in within the influence of the Ovu. So the Ovu is really good building. Um, any buildings that are within this influence are able to have a double produce units or uh, research advanced technologies, which is essentially um, buffed up versions of the unique technologies that the Mongols get. So we're just going to have one more go out to wood, um, sorry, uh, sheep. And then essentially from this point, as I said, the economy is set up for villager production and uh, Mangadai production now. Uh, so you, you can just adapt at this point with regards to your economy. If you're wanting to get another town centre down, you're going to want to heavily go onto wood because they do cost 900 wood for the Mongols. As you can see, we started to get the economy upgrades. We've got forestry coming in. Should then be able to get double broad axe as soon as forestry is finished and then wheelbarrow uh, once that one is finished. As you can see, that villager who made the archery range is uh, just starting to make pastures. So whenever you get 150 wood, start adding some pastures because we're going to want to make sure we've still got enough sheep uh, for the villagers there. And as you can see in the archery range, we've just made two Mangadai uh, due to that Ovu bonus. And we've got another two and four um, queued up. 
So once they come out, we should be able to go on the attack and start attacking the enemy. Now, the Mangadai are quite a weak unit. Um, they do die quite easily, but you've just got to control them. They can be really, really strong if you do maintain your control of them. So whilst there is Micro involved, uh, the Micro is purely for running around uh, because the Mangadai do auto attack, uh, which is nice. So they do auto attack. So you just got to run around and uh, keep attacking or uh, they'll auto attack, picking off villagers, picking off troops. And uh, the good thing about them as well is essentially if your opponent's got four horsemen, uh, or archers you should be absolutely fine perhaps archers you may struggle with a little bit um, but certainly horsemen you can just outrun them and continue firing but you've got to keep these active so whilst they are weak they are, they are fairly fragile they are very good if you're able to use them correctly and just keep them running around being annoying picking off villages here and there and uh, just being a nuisance and harassing perhaps delaying buildings being built all things like that um, try and avoid going into the town centre like we're about to do here <laughs> uh, because as I say they will die fairly quickly if you do get in that situation you can't just have the maneuver arrow where you can increase your speed of all of those troops so just shoot that and then quickly get out there as fast as you can just to try and uh, save them so you will get to a point where you've run out of stone to keep maintaining mangalai, uh, double mangalai production so when that happens just make single mangalai um, you could eventually add a second range if you wanted to uh, really increase that or you'll, um, certainly you can uh, adapt and play towards the enemy uh, counters so if they're going for uh, perhaps archers perhaps you can add a stable and start getting some horsemen something along those lines and you see that that uh, mangada just got killed by the town center there uh, so yeah just keep them moving keep running around running around the enemy base, picking off uh, troops where you can, picking off villages where you can and just generally being annoying right, so well, that is it for this one guys uh, do let me know in the comments how you get on with this one, what you think to the build and uh, do consider liking the video and subscribing for more Age of Empires 4 content and Age of Empires 4 build orders so that's it, I'll see you on the next one guys